unconditional love. It's the best kind of love. Who doesn't like unconditional love? It's like listening to one of those people on the radio that's one of those smooth jazz stations. Uh, welcome to Unconditional Love Channel. We'll be playing you nonstop hits of Unconditional Love. And then you have the levels of the levels of love to get to the unconditional love. You know that that bottom rung of I don't give a fuck about you, love. That is good. that's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Then you have I probably need to be blackout drunk in order to love you, love. That's you're getting up there. That's climbing the ladder. Then it's the you know that next one is the yeah, I, I suppose I could, I could love you if nothing else comes along that's remotely better, or I don't see about a hundred people pass by that I'd rather be with love. One more notch, one more notch of love. These levels of love are encompassing how your heart feels about just pouring itself into another's. And then of course, you know that that next run is I would probably have sex with you, love. In most cases. But not if I had something better to do. Although, that still might not do it. Love. That kind of love will probably last forever-ish. Maybe a little bit less than forever-ish. And then, of course, we have the granddaddy of love, the top dog, the unconditional love. The love that says... I can hate you between the hours of nine and five, however, still love you, love. That, you know, it's only what you do for me, and we gotta keep the status quo of what I'm getting out of this relationship with you, love, kind of love, that says, I am only here until you do something stupid again, kind of love. It just keeps on giving, keeps on giving and giving until somebody has a sneaker in their ass. That's normally how that, that's that unconditional love. Right? Right? Doesn't that, that sounds, that sounds correct, isn't it? that placing conditions on love, like somebody's not doing what you want them to do, and you could find this time and time again in your, in your own situation. Um, and this is a big one, this is huge, because you're being called in order to love yourself unconditionally, you know, you have to be able to offer that up, uh, not just with, um, you know, people you know and whatever else, but you like your twin flame is, you know, calling for that unconditional love and this entire journey is being called for you to love unconditionally. And that's, you know, that goes along the lines of, you know, not beating yourself up and not like, you know, having patience with yourself and, and just loving yourself no matter what. No matter what the situation is, you're being called to love yourself. 
whether you're there yet, whether you're almost there, whether you're not quite there, you know, you think you're full, you think you fall short, you think you're not good enough, you think you're not worthy, you know, th you're being asked to love yourself through all of those things unconditionally. That's, that's without putting any conditions on whether or not you love yourself or you love your twin. You're not putting any conditions on them because conditions are repelling. You could put, you know, you could be in a, your, you know, just some random relationship with somebody else that, that isn't your twin flame and, you know, you could put all the conditions on it, on them that you want and they'll, you know, they might stick around, they might not, uh, whatever the case may be, you know, it's not going to be a super loving relationship anyway. However, you're doing that, those same things to your twin and that ain't going to work. That's not going to slide. That's not how, that's not how this foundation of union is built upon. You know, it's built upon, I love you. I love you no matter what. Yeah, I understand that, like, uh, not everything is going to work out exactly how you expect it to work out or that you're anticipating that it's going to work out or that um, not everything is is uh, going to be, like, super awesome. You know, there's going to be some trials and tribulations along the way. But you're saying in that unconditional love that I real, I love you regardless of anything else. It doesn't matter. You know, everything that, that you go through is just a lesson to learn and nothing more than that. You know, it's not it's not an attack on you and it's not... Uh, being done to you, to harm you. It's just a lesson to learn. And staying with that unconditional love and just surrendering to that. You know, I don't get, I don't care. I don't care what happens uh, or what it looks like on the outside. Uh, I know deep down that unconditionally, I love myself. I love my twin. You know, that's where you want to get to. That's where you want to be. That unconditional. You're not putting any condition on whether or not uh, things are happening uh, that you put your expectations on or that you, you know, really, 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 really want to happen like right now, right at this second. You'll let all that stuff go. Unconditionally love yourself. Unconditionally love your twin, right? Visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, you know, check out some of the coaching services I offer, and you know we could go step by step uh, along this journey and help you heal into union. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Take care.